Irate residents of Rocks and Burnham Gardens staged a small protest today. They voiced their frustrations over the decision of the Mayor City Council to lease a parcel of land to a businessman to construct a restaurant and grill. The land that the MMCC has leased is an open space located at the entrance of the community, which is used for recreational spaces and small vending. Other governments, including the City Council, have never paid any interest to Rocks and Burnham Gardens. When the rain falls, our streets are flooded. The City Council makes decisions that a lot of the members of, of this community are not aware of. Coalition government cleaning up. I had to remove my shop from here. And when I remove my shop, my whole car to the bottom loose up. I'm a single parent of three. And when I came back now for comfort start operating my business because after my husband died, I was selling out here. Because that's the only thing I know to do as a single parent with three children. When I came here, I saw that at the box around the place. One protester was upset with the MMCC's removal of her stall, while other protesters are alleging a division in the council when choosing to propose land for the community. One side of the council is offering to rehabilitate this community, while another side is trying to pull it down. Now, I quote the word of God, which says, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. We intend to develop with the council, but one part of the council is developing and the other part is pulling destroying. and destroying this area. They want to put a 40-foot container on this piece of land, and we are not standing for that. We are going to fight. Goliath, David killed Goliath with one stone, and we got many stones, and we're going to stop anybody that come to take any part of Roxanne Burnham Garden. As long as I live in Roxanne Burnham Garden, and even if I move out from Rocks and Barnum I will fight for this area. Nonetheless, the residents plan to continue their protests until their community can once again regain the land for recreational purposes. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.